Bible teaches us in Revelation chapter 4. Day and night. Seven days. In 24 hours. Every living creature. Saying holy one. Holy one. The holy one. Holy one. He was. He is. That is to be. The alpha. The omega. Beginning. And the end. Your, your hurry. Your hurry. Telling your hurry. Jesus taught us a prayer. Yes, you are serving, sir. Our father. Tichita Fali Muguru. Ali Muguru. Father will be thy name. Eri nyoli guru is way. Obwa kabaka babu J. Ero kwa gala kokorebo kusi. Nga we kuli Muguru. Wetu banga tsobola kusaye biroze le sale yo. Esala nene. Esala ngazi. Chata wa fe. Eri nyoli guru mizibwe. Omuntu yatonde ba kusinza. Si kusinza bizibu. Si kusinza bifananyi. Si kusinza muntu munne. Si kusinza bya bikwatika ko. Neda. Ya konde wa kusinza katonda. Na yo mtu wa ya guwa na vamo chiti ibo. O mtu nata niko kusinze bilala. Eda wetu fayo kusinza katonda. O mla bagenda le tebifana yu. Wo kubango bisinza. Na ye singo teka maso goku yesu. O mta andi sero mkome kereza wo kukiriza. No musinze sawa bidi munya. Omlaba jakuja na eta jakuku wangula kubango oliva na bakatonda oyali mukwe wamanyo kusingo yali munsi kati Yesu weyaja yatununula na sasuru mutango era na tununula bible egamba na tununula I was not created to worship sickness. I was not created to worship any other thing. I was created to worship God alone. If man can put God in the center of his life, and you choose to follow God in every way, you will see that demons will tremble. You will see that demons will tremble. You will run away from you. Of course, they are going to fight you. But they will not overcome you. You will stand in your place of authority. Because you were ransomed. Praise the Lord. Let's read Luke chapter 1. And see. Luke chapter 1. My name is Sarah Bunjo. Luke chapter 1. And he is a man. Yes, now things are going wrong. But he is a man. 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 He is a is a man. He is a man. He is a man. He Emizimu mirimba. And he works in ignorance. He will cover ignorance. So when we are ignorant about the power we have, when we are ignorant about the devil's schemes, you will become his prey. Or you will be able to do his great. Jesus said when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free. Amazima gagenda bafula badembe. Kwetaga tumanya amazima gasokerwako. 
Nga wetu manya mazima kustani Tuchichuse mungeri eri Nga wakiriza mustani Mtu wamanyi Mtu asobara no kutuga Asobara no kuta Kati endohoza yujichuse Oteke Ochitake renti yesu wamanyo kusinga stani Chimanyenti yesu wamanyo kusinga stani Tetuchika na anti stani ya inamanyo Na yali mufe wamanyo kusinga stani Era stani akwale ila mubutamanya Yesu angarachi yosaya nye gamba Abantu wangebazi kiriroro wabutaba na kumanya Hey, Kanisa, Read your Bible. To some Bible you have Bible has the best information about your life. Many of us we are filled with people's information. To you the name into the Abba and to be able to gamba. Satan has chosen to take care of your faith. To you, many of us we are more than conquerors. To you, many of us we are more than conquerors. Tuwa tonde wa mchifana nyicha katonda Ebi sele vi mustani ya nzijira Nemu gamba stani sigenda kuwa bude Kumanga majimu ugamanyi Ochimanyi tosobe la kunzita Kumanga nzendi wa norwe chigende rilwa Atenga sinachima liliza Elamu gamba stani Na wanuwa nisa Tokenda kumpa angula Kumango romu shaigwa yesu Oteke duwa kumanye chikambe chisinga yobu wangwe chaka tonda Praise the Lord The life of a Christian is real Christ of a Christian is real When we get saved we become new creatures When we get saved we get new power When we get saved we get of a new nation Listen to what the Bible says But you summarize. Okay. His father, Zachariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want you to understand. I will come here for a seminar. I will start from a Sunday. Then I finish on the other Sunday. I don't normally do it unless I hear the heavens. It is a commitment. Pastor will work with my administrator and we fix this. Listen. Praise be to the Lord. The God of Israel. Because he has come to his people and he redeemed them. Yes, we are joking. He came to redeem us. There is something I feel I'm not common. I don't look like other ladies. Though I'm dark, but I'm not like the dark people. I don't resemble my mother. I don't resemble my father. I am alone. Christ came to redeem me. No matter what I pass through, no matter the problems I counter, Christ came to redeem me. I am redeemed. Understand that lady. Understand that gentleman. In the midst of your problems, Christ came to redeem you. You are not alone. Hallelujah. Focus. Pay attention. There is a man. 
Well, you this is the truth. We have just celebrated Easter. We are celebrating the, the death and the resurrection of, of Jesus. The power of the cross. The the something happened on the cross. There is something that happened. The man did it for me. He took my sins. It, much as I was a sinner. He took my sins. He took my sicknesses. He gave them on the cross. He took them on the cross. Me. Hey. hey! Hallelujah! I am the redeemed of the Lord. The Bible says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I can see a man and a woman who will stand up and say, I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the redeemed of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hey. the rest are saying, Leave me alone. How can you say I'm redeemed? When my judge died without beauty, how can you say I'm redeemed? When I have a sickness, since I'm at church, all the truth I know, I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Things have not yet worked out. But I will encounter them. I will get them. No matter I have sorrow. No matter I go through compression. No matter I have no rent. The kids are not studying. Though the husband left me. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I feel myself. You know why I love myself? Hey, for God so loved the world. And he gave his only son. Now I am one of them. God loved me so much. He got only one, one son. He said he can die for her. He came and died for me. He bought me. Let's continue. Praise be to the Lord. Hey, the God of Israel because he has come to his people and redeemed them he has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he said through his holy prophets of long ago salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us hallelujah from all those who hate me. He came to save me from all my enemies. Hey. Hey. Enemies are there. And they have surrounded me. That's the fact. That's the fact. But the truth. Says, he redeemed me long time ago. That is the reason why Jesus came. Yes, on Christ Christo, yeah, to redeem me. Anunule. Listen. Let's continue. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. The oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us, verse 74, to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear. Hallelujah. That's the purpose of God. He sent his son. Come redeem me from the curses of my clan, from the poverty of my clan, from the sicknesses of my clan, from the uneducated of my clan, from the premature death. I will not die prematurely, for I have a calling. If you want to die, die. But for me, I will not die before finishing. Because there is a book that is written about me. I have someone who bought me. Paul says, I was crucified with Christ. I live yet not me. But Christ liveth in me. I live that I live in the flesh. I live it by the faith of the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Yes, the one you have Christ was crucified for you. He was abused. He was shamed. One day an enemy attacked me. And I told him, Satan, you're joking. It will not be possible. 
you cannot shame me. Christ was crucified in shame. And he took all my shame over the cross. And he dressed me with glory. Problems cannot identify me. When pro problems come, so that the glory of Jesus is revealed. If there are no problems, if sickness don't attack us, we wouldn't understand the power. But this is a attack. But that doesn't give us. We come out victorious. We tell the devil, don't laugh at me, my enemy. When I fall, I shall stand. When I get into darkness, Christ shall be light to me. Hallelujah. You who fail, don't be worried. Raise again. You who is in darkness, accept sunlight to come over you. There's something that happened over the cross. It takes me not to understand. Whenever I meditate, I don't finish it. I don't finish. What happened? What brought that man? Not to give up. He had the authority to say, I cannot go on the cross. There is something that happened. If you don't believe it, believe that when you got saved, something happened. What is that that made you give up on alcohol? What made you give up on men? If you got saved and still loving your men, there is a problem. If I gave up on a Muslim man that I, gave, uh, that I put me in a car, given me a car, and I even produced two kids, he had even given me the key land. If I woke up and said I've given up on you, before chasing me, before adding another lady. But I gave up on him. Because of the Christ I understood. There is power. There is power. That power shall get you out of that situation. That power gets you. There is power to get you in that sickness. There is power to get you in those problems. If there were no problems, Christ wouldn't have taken that sickness. He knew there were sicknesses. He knew there were problems. He knew debts were there. He knew they can give you a loan. He took all. In Colossians 2, verse 14, he says, He got all documents that they had written about me. You will not get married. You will not be rich. You will die of sicknesses. You will not produce. Christ got all that report. He brought it on the cross. He nailed it on the cross. Praise the Lord. There is something that happened. The Bible has told us. We are captive. When the habits of the clan had captivated, everything of the clan, poverty involved. Pray that God may open a little bit of your brains and understand that something happened. You will say, This is, you can't kill me. I will not die poor. I will get married. I will produce. Because of that which Jesus did at the cross. Bible say I am rich. Let the weak say I am healed. Before you are healed. You say I am healed. Before you get rich. You say I am rich. Before you are strong. You say I am strong. Why? Because of what the Lord has done on the cross. Because of that Jesus did on the cross. Is why I'm alive. Though disease are compressed. That's why I remain strong. Last week I was in Atintemi. 
lunch hour. After lunch hour, it was Wednesday. I got fever immediately. Yet I had to go to Nketa and preach. There was a conference for ladies. Ladies had come all from ghetto. I got a fever. I said, devil, you're joking. I became weak. I continued to feel malaised. I told people, pray for me. Now, the voice was like, you can do, you not be able. Oh, send someone. Then I was asking myself, what is the power of the cross? And he nailed them on the cross. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the sick say, I am healed. I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. They had told me, please, dedicate. But I remembered. When I give him, it will be a defeat. And the Bible says, whoever is born of God, overcomes the world. I was like, let me surprise them. Just go. I was trembling. I told him, so give me Panadol. But sins are cooking. Says to something, this shall not happen. Yeah. It was an attack. All, everything around me showed I could not go. I got fever to an extent that I got Susu could just come out in continence. The devil was like, you're going to get ashamed on the pulpit. Because after overcoming the fever, then the devil asked me, what will you do? I will tell the devil I will go. I told the devil, devil, that shame you want to bring over me. Christ nailed it at the cross that I may get the glory. Something happened on the cross. There is something received from the cross. I, I went and I reached on time. They didn't expect me. When I reached on the pulpit, the devil was like, you're finished. I told people, please first bring in some hymns. Within two minutes, I had urine incontinence. But I want to assure you, Matthew 11 says, the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violence shall take it by force. I was like, I shall take it by force. You know, I told the devil, I will not suffer any shame. I will not suffer any shame. I stood on the pulpit. I preached. Like two hours. I didn't feel anything again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something happened at the cross. He rescued us. Yatununula from the powers of our enemies. I don't know what has happened this week. That was Wednesday. 
It I went back home when I'm feeling bad. The devil can fight. But let him not show up as if we don't know his plots. I've come to talk to that person saying, I'm weak, I cannot stand and dress up. At night, I was attacked by a fever. The devil was like, don't go back to Entebbe. Because you will not handle. In the morning, I was like, I will go back. I went back and preached. After immediately after the pulpit, the same situation came back. On Friday, on Thursday, I was bad loaf. I don't know what was in that week last week. But I just found myself overcoming. As if that was not enough. Friday, Friday, on Friday, I was like, I'm going back. They told me of, of a neighbor that had died. Pastor's wife just died. She died. And I was like, I have to go to a table. I went to Entebbe. Immediately after, then the devil was like, I think now let us upgrade. Let's upgrade. After, I was supposed to go to Eden and Vibe and preach. Immediately on parking, I got a phone call. Let me tell you. Stop moving. Your cold, not cold, warm, not warm, you're not sure. Immediately after getting out, they gave me a call. They, they told me my sister they died. My young sister. And in our family, I'm the first born. I felt heated. I felt like shedding tears. They were like, we are waiting for you, please, we are waiting. I encouraged myself in Christ. Christ, a, a born again never fears, but the you may feel it a bit, but later you stand. I was like, all heroes don't fear to risk. Abazira, they don't fear taking risks. I was like, it's done. The Holy Spirit preached as I've never preached before. I remembered about that dead person a long time. Yet they were burying my sister the next day. We are not minding. You don't know that when you got saved, you declared the war. You don't know that you became a new preacher. That you don't resemble other people. 
Scripture has come to fulfillment. The Bible is saying that I came to separate a man from a daughter from a mother. And I got the same test. My longtime friend had lost a mother. So I had to decide either to cancel the meetings, to go for the burials, or I become a, or I become the dead and carry on. After remember my body was weak. Then Then I went to the funerals in the evening. Then the next morning I was going to be seeker. Then I asked myself, if they give me an opportunity at two, yet they are supposed to bury at four. If they tell me to preach at four, I will not. I had the pain in me saying I would be with my sister. But the heavens were like there is a, a, a woman going to hell. After, I heard a voice in me saying, let the dead bury their dead. I, heard, I told my lady, one of the girls, go, if they had given me on time, there are some things you're supposed to say no. The many times I've suffered, I've, I've confronted the death and told it I will not die. You'll be there when the husband can't tell you. You'll be there when the pastor cannot tell you. When the wife cannot tell you. When your mom cannot. When your mom cannot. They are all waiting for you. God is saying that I know she will overcome. She will not deny me. And the devil sure in God, I told you. She is praising you because you have given her life. I remember Job's story. All situations that confront you, the Lord knows that you will overcome. You have all the victory. You have all the armor. You have all the decisions. I was feeling pain. The dead were around me. I told the devil, see, Jack, who attention me. When I reached where we are supposed to preach, I was sad. Then they started introducing. You know what? Let us welcome this visitor. She has come late, but let us I remembered something that made that dead bury the dead. I sat down and I said, come what may. There is a time which reaches when you have to decide. Or oh, for the family. Or oh, for your job. The job you're doing is not getting good. You're much aware that the place you're in, but you fail to decide. If you're in between, you will be knocked down. Or take a drop of bango, Sazo, over a crocatona, or bango salida, or over a crostan. The time that we are supposed to bury is the time they gave me a microphone to preach. Baby, I'm going to do it with Christ. Focus your eyes on Christ. What the devil aims at is to take away your eyes from Christ. That you may look around you. He may bring sicknesses. 
and failed to go for a service, yet there was the word to heal you. Let them not lie to you that problems don't come from born again. Problems so much come from the born again. Do you know why? Do you know the answer? Because a born again is nurtured by problems. It's the only point we can manifest God's power. In the midst, in the midst of you passing through fire, that's only when God can do things. When other people are getting burnt, when your enemies, your enemies, when your enemies are clapping. Up, and you tell them I'm back. I'm back. Then they will start asking, is it the, is it the one or not? Others will say it's the one. God touch her, she's the one. He feels the voice, she's the one. Problem, born again, Zufia problems cannot mature. Tell you, Gule, got also so fun of fun of room. What Christ passed through, no one has ever, and no one will ever. That when he looked at the glory before him, he despised the shame. Listen, you who pass us through problems, there is a glory that will manifest after people laughing. Let them nickname you. Let them call you anything. But they will see you coming out. They will say, no, we started with her. We grew up with her. I was with her. They will be like, you know me. They used to talk about you. And I was wondering. But look what the Lord has done. Say what the Lord has done. Look, 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 look. See what the Lord has done. Oh, look, 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 See what the Lord has done. Look, 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 See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done.
But joy comes in the morning. Say neighbor. My day is yet. My morning is yet. You will see me. remain blazing. Then I got some relief. I wanted to go there in the night. At the funeral, after the burial. On going at the vigil. I got some confusion in me. I mean, he was driving. I was like, first, uh, Holy was. Spirit. Then I was like, Holy Spirit. Show me the show. I don't know. Should I go or not? Then I was like, No, I'm come what may. Let me go back home. And I was not feeling well. I went back home. Then they told me we are back from the vigil, we have gone home. I couldn't cancel today's program. But what do we learn from this? Let's, let's read Second Collusion. Corinthians. Second Corinthians. <laughs> Bakolinse chokubiri. 
But it needs the power of God to come into you. So that Jesus overcomes and not you. of a righteous amen. But the Lord deliver him from all. You think, you, you think God is me dancing? It is now Jesus dancing in me. That Christ may be revealed in me. We shall talk about that later. Not you. Christ Let must be revealed. They were revealed. When they put you down, when they have got they have preached, they have chased you, you have no money, you are sick. Christ will be revealed in you. Uh-huh. 
Okutula anga Yesu. Era no vula mwafi. Yesu vulio kebulu la visi wenga. Mumibiri jafu. Ogufa. Ogufa. Ola kumine bili. Bwe chitu. Ogufa kukule la mwafi. Na yo vula mwafi. Ola kumine sabi. Na yenga tulino mwoyo guli. Ogoku zikiriza. Ogoku kiriza. Nga wacha wandiki wanti. Na kiriza. Chena vanjo gira anti. Na fe. Tukiriza. Era chetu vatu ogera. Chetu vatu ogera. Ole kuminenya. Nga tuma nyingu oyu. E ya zuki za mkama fe yesu. Era na fe. Alitu zuki za wamu ne yesu. Era alitu anjuli za wamu na mwe. Kwa kenda kutuma anjula wamu mato za wamu kama. Kwa mwe wamu kama alina pulani niyo vila mwa feo tiyo. Ole kuminenya. Nga muma nyingu oyu. E ya zuki za mkama fe yesu. Era na fe. Alitu zuki za wamu ne yesu. Era alitu anjulu za wamu na mwe. Ule kuminetu anu. Kuranga vyo na bili kubwa mwe. E chisecho. Bweche yongera. Olu avanji. Chilio kecho nge zenga. Okweba za katonda. Awewe. E chitiwa. Chetu vatu lema. Oku dirira. Na hine wangu vado mtu wafe. Owoku ngulu. Nga guawo. Na yo mtu wafe. Owomu nda. Afuku omu chabuli. Chabuli jo. Mwila yo kwe mkazi kwe. Change it full of move to a woman do mucha. What makes your inner man new? Because of the outward. Once this body fades, then the inner man renews. The problems I've gone through is what have made me free in the gospel. But the devil fights the gospel. I was like, I will not drink because of what I've gone through. There's a time when they compressed the fresh for 10 years, not knowing even that I live. Yet I hear preach. When I go back home, I can't tell. But the more they compressed me, and the voice could tell me, stop teaching, change the gospel. Deny God and die. I said I will not deny. I will not change the gospel. After 10 years, I wanted to give up. You get out of that situation when you're new. Your clan members will get saved. Your children will get saved. Your, saved. your husband, your wife will look at you and say, For sure, you have God. Though we are fading, but our inner word, man, we have born again here. Now you're going to work on yourself. We are going to dance for the Lord. We are going to sing for him. I assure you, you will leave this place healed. Break the chains. Dress up that. Put away the sorrow. Because a born again must pass through such. Ben Hinn passed through. Pastor Punjo passed through. Pastor Kanja passed through it. Men of God might. Americana goes through it. Pastor Rose goes through it. But the more they've gone through it, the more they've become strong. Bible teaches us. Peter said, as gold cannot be gold unless it is passed through fire so is your faith cannot be affirmed cannot be real unless when you are tested will you dance tell neighbor leave me alone it's me who knows where I go through give me space but in the mighty name I will overcome them I will not pray with you the warfare has been given us there is an warfare of praise to be gobba putting it under our feet leaving them here 
The Bible says, you've come to Mount Zion, where there are angels' protection, where there is blood that speaks good words. Angels are here to destroy all problems. The blood is available to change your blood, to change every statement. Now, just dance for Christ. Proverbs 22. Psalms 22. God dwells in the sanctuary of his saints. The more you dance, the more you attract God to come into your property. <laughs>